Hey y'all, hey, it's C with C, um, and thanks for coming to chat with me. Thought I'll pump up, pop in to do a quick lunchtime live. Won't be here for a long time as I gotta get back to work, but some exciting news that many of you all have been waiting for from Virgin Voyages dropped about, or earlier today, related to their sailors, was it Sailors Club? So I figured I would pop on just to kind of chat about that really quickly, show you all what the new perks are, um, and then uh, get on about my merry way. Uh, welcome in one person. So yeah, my name is Carlene. This is my channel, C with C. Um, I do the, I'm the leader of the Couch Cruisers, uh, which is a basic community of folks who, um, if you're anything like me, it's rainy here in DC. So I'd rather be on a cruise most definitely than uh, being home. So uh, let's get a little bit. Hey, Ink Spills Travel. This is the cool part about going live, I guess, in a different time of day. Uh, I get to get a group of folks that I don't see sometimes. So welcome in, Ink Spill Travels. Uh, thanks for joining us. Just going to chat briefly about the new Virgin Voyages um, Sailor Club perks. I'm sorry, I'm looking around because I want to I'm going to take my phones off of the Wi-Fi so I don't buffer anything. I got too many devices here. And we have Miss Dee Dee. Welcome in. Good morning, afternoon. What time is it? It's 1238, so it's morning for me, but our West Coast friends and other folks, I'm sure it's, uh, what is it, still morning for them or it's afternoon for me, morning for them. So welcome in three people. And let's get to chatting. So I'm going to share my screen. I know a lot of folks who um, previously sell Virgin Voyages were, um, you know, Virgin has been rolling back a lot of, you know, the things that they previously were given. So they rolled back um, some of the free sailor loot that used to come with their sailings, which was a selling point for me because a lot of those perks were stackable. And then, um, you know, the last couple of years, they were talking about how they were going to redo their members, what's it called the Sailors Club, which is basically their loyalty program. Welcome in MH Family Adventures. Good to have a wrench in the house. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Just basically chatting about um, Virgin Voyages Sailors Club. And if anybody wants to pop up to chat too, um, once I kind of go over it, feel free to come on uh, down. Um, all right. So let me share my screen a little bit. Um, as everyone knows, Virgin initially was going to have all these um oh here oh here we go presentation mode i'm getting used to uh how to do this share screen and which screen do i have this um on the perks where are my perks there it goes so i got this information because i like to give credit where credit is due um all right i don't need to see the ad here hopefully am i like a screen and a screen yeah i think that's what i want no, that's not what I want. <laughs> Here we go. One second. Can y'all see me? I must be lagging. Are you able to see me and the screen? Let me know. Hopefully I'm not lagging too much. Uh, I was just asking if, if anyone was going live. Hey, everyone. Are y'all able to see? Am I stuck? Let me know. Folks are saying hi. I just want to make sure I'm having okay tech before I'm moving on. It looks like I might be having a little lag on my end. I don't want to. Um, okay, perfect. Thank you, MH. All right. I want to make sure, you know, visual and are you are cool. Um, so, yeah, um, just popping in live. I just saw this information. I was scrolling through my phone. It's fresh off the press today. I like to give credit where credit is due. So I saw this on the Virgin Voyages Insider. I wonder where I got it from. Um, I probably need to take my phone off of because my friends are texting and it's going to probably show something inappropriate with some of the messages. Um, so yeah, Virgin Voyages Insider, I think I saw this on Facebook, dropped the new 2024, 2025 selling club information. I'm going to kind of go through this and let me know, do y'all think this makes Virgin still saleable or is it a perk that you would want to use? Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, I must be buffered out. Ah, first time going live in the middle of the day. Appreciate y'all's patience. Did it kick me off? I think I'm back. Okay. Alrighty. So we have three levels. So basically for, um, these will be basically through the end of 2025. I appreciate y'all for hanging there for the tech issues. I don't usually do a lot of streaming in the middle of the day. I don't do a lot of screen sharing but it was just easier to get the information out to you. So what Virgin is doing is um, through the end of 2025, um, so we have about a year of this perk pl um, platform, I guess, before they start determining if they're going to um, use it or not. 
uh, they're going to have three tiers. So the first tier is going to just be the selling club and you're going to be in the selling club after the first selling. So basically it kind of gives like the Disney model where you are, I don't say nothing, but you are just kind of, you know, first person. And then afterwards you are into the, the um, sailors club. I think, I believe Royal does this too, where you don't get into, into after definitely Disney, Disney, um, you become a part of the castaway club, I believe once um, you are done with uh, your first selling. Then it's deep blue extras, which happens after your second selling. So it looks like they're gonna actually even part of the carnival model. They're gonna be more of the, you have, your perks won't come into play until after that selling. So after your sell, second selling, you are blue extras. And then after your fourth selling, which basically comes into play in your fifth selling, then you get the deep blue extras. So those are the first three, uh, um, uh, slots of the tiers. I want to get more into it. I want to peep at the chat just to make sure y'all are okay in the chat. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing for a second just to say, get our hellos underway. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, you are frozen, but we can hear you fine. Okay. Still here. And folks, folks are speaking. Okay. Hey, Tim people. We are just talking about um, a little lunchtime live here with the couch cruisers talking about Virgin Voyages, new release of their, um, their uh, newly released, what's it called? Sailors Club, which is their loyalty program for Virgin Voyages. And it's been the talk of the town. A lot of people have been looking forward to this as Virgin Voyages has started rolling back some of their sailor loot and all those other perks. Um, they finally introduced their new uh, pathway for loyalty. Uh, welcome in nine people. And Edward Sharon is saying hello. All right, let's get back into what this also means. So we talked about the three tiers. So basically there is a, um, a, a you're into the Sailors Club after your first sailing. Um, your second selling, you get into blue extras, and then there are deep blue extras, which we all, if you have sold version before, the first two, um, I, not, I can't remember about those. I know that those, now the three tiers are new, but definitely the deep blue extras is what you wanted to get. And I believe it used to be like after your third selling, and then they were really pushing hard for, I think, what was it? The first people to ever sell, they were like, you know, who were in that inaugural year, they were getting a lot of perks. And then the next year version was in business. Those people who um, sell twice were then into deep blue extras. And then you had the status matching option. All right, let's get back into, um, <laughs> let's get back into what the information says. Hi, Faith. Welcome in. Uh, just sharing information about Virgin Voyages new sailor club. Hopefully I don't buffer too much. I probably need to take my other computer off of um the internet let's see if i can get that done real quickly uh let me leave that one alone okay so let's get back into what else it says about these virgin voyagers perks all righty so we talked about the three tiers the first tier is going to be the introduction of sailing club this is after your first sailing so once you get that first sailing out of the way uh you can you are uh basically a part of this tier here so if you get an exclusive offer starting with up to four hundred dollars bar tab um which i'm curious here i have not read this one hopefully i don't buffer too much i am going to click this more details. I have not read this part. I read the other parts. Um, you get first alerts for promos and then there'll be a quarterly newsletter. But this 400 bar tab offer up to $400 sounds pretty interesting. I'm going to click on this. Hopefully we don't buffer too bad. And let's see. Um, you basically get up to 80% off the second sailor on select voyages for 2024, 2025. $400. Oh, so that's the kicker. So up to $400 if you're on a 14 night sailing. Now we know most of us are not on 14 plus night sailing. Hold on, take a sip of my tea. But then $200 for seven to 13 nights. Most of us will probably land up in these two tiers, uh, seven night to five to six nights, $100 bar tab. Um, and things that you need to know is when is things um, kick in. So this again, this is on virginvoyages.com as well as the Virgin Voyages Insider. So let me get back into the chat. Thanks, Alicia, saying hello. Hopefully I didn't um, pause too much. Let me go back to the other tiers. All right. So after your first, after, I'm sorry, not your first sailing. So after your first sailing, you're in the sailing club. Kudos to you. <laughs> then uh, let's see the third and fourth sailing. You end up in the deep blue. I'm sorry, the blue extras level. So um, this is the new one. Um, this is their internet. They're introducing kind of an introductory level. However, the blue extras has some of the any of you who ever status match with Virgin Voyages know that some of these perks were perks you would not get until you got to deep blue. So it seems like what they're doing is 
after your third and fourth selling um, or on your third and fourth selling, you can get one coffee credit at Grounds Club, which I've heard is per sailor, which this is a cool one because initially in the Deep Blue Extras, or maybe this is the one they say for Deep Blue Extras. Initially, it was just you only got a $10 credit, which if you have more than one person in the cabin, that could be problematic. But let me get into the other ones. You get a laundry bag, one laundry bag of service. I mean, one bag of laundry service. You get an exclusive cocktail event and you get a dedicated seller service support. OK, so the blue extra, which is a mid tier because I have deep blue extras. So a lot of these things are in the deep blue extras, especially like the, the credit, the coffee credit, the lounge, the laundry bag, um, the cocktail party. Even though I had never made it to the cocktail party because they often put it at a time that like you are running to get back to port. All right. And then finally, their highest tier. Oh, status matching is back. So this is one of the ones that Virgin was. Kept telling everybody, kept telling the girls they're going to snatch away. Um, so they said commencing on April 3rd, 2024, Virgin extends an invitation to new sailors of loyalty status from various crews and travel brands to participate in the selling club status match initiative. And I know I participated through my first day through my Disney status. So Disney Cruise Lines gives you one, as soon as you get like one selling on Disney, you're automatically at like silver status or whatever. Well, anywho, that status allowed me to match with Virgin Voyages. So it'll be interesting to see if that's still a thing, but they are keeping the party going on status matching because that was rumored to initially being um, probably going to be taken away, but they're, seems like they're going to keep those things. It says um, they'll become a part of the blue extra privileges. Hopefully I'm reading that right. Eligible sailors who provide proof of their loyalty status and other programs alongside a confirmed booking with Virgin Voyages will receive sailor club membership along with blue extras. Okay, so that is the difference. Hold on. Sailors opting for status match enrollment will enjoy blue extra benefits during their inaugural voyage. So if you status match your first time, you don't have to, you'll get the, Blue extra. So you'll come at the mid tier versus being waiting to be Sailor's Club and then persist in receiving them until they attain deep blue extras on their fifth. So now the thing is you can't, it looks like you can't come in a deep blue extra like how I did. You are now coming at the mid level if you status match them. Let's get back into the chat really quick before I get to the deep blue extras, which is their biggest and baddest status match. Who we got in here? Uh, Courtney Evans is saying, hey, finally caught a live. <laughs> cool, Courtney. Happy you were able to catch a live. Hopefully I'm not frozen again. Uh, my computer is kind of lagging a little bit. It looks like I'm back in action here. Um, and let's see. Glad you caught. That's why I wanted to come like a different time of day because oftentimes people, you know, I usually go like live at 8 p.m. So hopefully we catch a different audience. I don't know. But this whole deep blue version voyages, new status tiers kind of caught my eye. So I was kind of like, oh, you know, let's go live and talk about it. I am going to, um, let's see, share a link here. Just in case anybody else wants to pop up who may be a TA or a travel agent or whoever might be a virgin voyager. Um, let me see, hit my invite button. Uh, somebody who enjoys selling on Virgin, come up and tell me what your thoughts are. Here's the link here for the live stream. And then we're going to get back into it. Desiree is here. Hey, Desiree, welcome in. Welcome in. Happy you are here. Just here chatting about what these new Virgin Voyages tiers, status loyalty tiers mean. I know for a lot of folks, um, you know, Virgin um, likes selling Virgin because Virgin allowed you to, um, what is it? add or compound or stack their deals. So you used to be able to get a hundred dollar sailor loot sometimes on one thing and then stack it with another hundred and then stack it with another. So I'm just kind of curious as to what this new tiers, what these are, um, what this is mean for folks. Let's get uh, one last tier here, which is the deep blue extra. So if you all remember deep blue extras was the only, I believe, tier was the biggest it was the baddest it was the one that you could status match in now we've learned you only can match into the mid level which is the blue extras so deep blue extra extras but um are this so you get this on your fifth sailing um so it's after your fourth you get this on your fifth sailing um and it says this is going to continue to the end of 2025 uh this program remain in place for all existing sea blazers so if you have already done the match if you so if you're a sea blazer who was anyone who sailed in 2021, which was Virgin Voyages inaugural season, if you are a sea rover, if you that means you sailed twice in 2022 or 23, or if you have already previously matched prior to December 31st, 
you get to keep your deep blue extras. So yay, <laughs> we get to keep those. Um, uh, and you will get that if you haven't previously had the deep blue, if you haven't previously earned, then you won't get this. You won't be eligible to your fifth sailing. So um, y'all either get those sailings up or hurry up and do those matches. Uh, but it looks like we are marked safe from any downgrades if you previously matched in. Um, and it includes a perk of $100 bar tab. Oh, this is where I messed up. So the blue extra is a mid-tier. You get one coffee credit. Now, if you have deep blue, which is very considerate of those in your cabin, or for those of you who need a morning coffee and an evening coffee, you get your um, two coffee credits, and then you get other exclusive benefits. Um, and this is all on virginvoyagesnow.com for you to read. So those are all of our new, new tiers. And here's a handy dandy uh, overlay. So let me talk about what my thoughts are. I'm going to stop sharing. Hopefully I'm lag not lagging anymore. Let's get into the chat. MH, I would love it. I'm not sure if you're on the high seas or what, MH, but if you want to pop up as a TA and as a person who sell version once or twice to, you know, does it sell you on anything? Does it motivate you to sell version? sell, like sell it, you know, your customers or even sell like high seas. I'm curious to hear what folks are feeling about this. Welcome in 11 people, new status tiers. For me as someone um, coming up soon will be my, I'm coming up on my third Virgin Voyages cruise. Um, I'm also hosting a group cruise on Virgin Voyages. If anybody's interested in the good government getaway, I can drop that information in the chat for you. Um, I don't see a ton of difference at the moment. Um, what I, let me talk about my, what I like, cause I know sometimes we get into critical view and we're like, why? Oh, Hey, Parker's on the go. You too. If anybody, anybody, Dustin, Dustin, uh, Miss Desi, a channel member, anybody who wants to jump in to talk about what you heard about this new version voyages tears. Is it, does it make you want to sell? Is it easy to sell if you are a TA? Um, what are your thoughts? So I'll start with, you know, the pros. The pros are, it seems like this loyalty program is pretty accessible. So that is a kudos to Virgin because sometimes um, some of the loyalty programs, it just feels like you won't be able to make any progress quickly, you know? So it kind of gives you that, what is it? Um, instant reinforcement to be like, all right, this is something that, you know, it gives you instant re reinforcement to maybe um, become loyal to Virgin voyages, which is a good thing for them. <laughs> so um, after your first sailor, you're automatically in the sailors club. You start getting those promos early. You start hearing about those new itineraries. That's cool. Um, I will also say for me, um, seeing the whole status match into blue extras, I mean, that's kind of, it doesn't impact me, but it's kind of a downgrade. However, I can see with, you know, all the people were able to status match using their credit cards, using, you know, just one voyage on another line, excuse me, another line. Um, I can see why they have it now where you come in a mid tier. And I also appreciate Virgin instead of fully rolling things back that they even created a mid tier. I think that's accessible. A lot of people that I know, I mean, I know somebody who sell maybe seven times, who's not a content creator <laughs> um, on Virgin Voyages. I think she was at seven. Um, Laria, shout out to you if you're watching the replay. Uh, I know I'm a, at three. So if I had not, you know, previously, I would, I guess, be approaching my approaching Deep Blue if I didn't already have that match. So, OK, cool. We have a comment in the chat. Welcome in 13 people. We are just here talking about Virgin Voyages finally released the T which is their updated tiers. And a lot of you know, Virgin had been rolling back and everybody was like, what is this new status level? What is this thing going to look like? And they finally released it today. Um, so we were just going over what those tiers are. Hopefully I didn't bore you to death, but I found it interesting. And I figured I'll use my lunch break to go live for a little bit. Miss Desi says, I am still new to Virgin Voyages. My second cruise will be in August for Sisterhood at Sea. So just listening. Yeah. So Desi, Desiree, were you able to, when you did your first version voyages, when we did Sisterhood at Sea 2023, were you able to um, status match into Deep Blue Extras? Um, because if you were able to status match into Deep Blue Extras, then you get to keep that perk, at least through 2025. Excuse me. And if you are now going on your second sailing, then... Hopefully I get this right. You will now be in the Sailors Club where you're getting promos, a newsletter, 
that kind of thing. Jameer, my good DC cousin, Jameer is in the building welcoming 15 people saying what's going on. Nothing. Jameer just here chatting during lunch break about these new Virgin Voyages loyalty program perks and, 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 and tears. Miss Parker, who is a travel agent as well as a content creator, says, um, I don't sell a lot of Virgin. So I'm here to get an update. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Yeah. What was what made Virgin, um, I think, sellable, like getting clients to book Virgin was that whole stackable piece, like stacking all the promos. So now they stopped giving away like a bunch of free sailor loot. Um, it seems like getting people to at least get to the deep blue extras where they'll get a hundred dollar sailor loot that I believe will still be stackable if they get other sailor loot that would be kind of a perk. And I think just having that quick, um, you know, you only need four or five sellings to get to their highest tier um, is thoughtful. Uh, it also makes sense. I mean, their price point is higher than others, but it, it takes into account that, you know, the gratuities, et cetera, are already in play. But I think like most people, and I'm also thinking, well, maybe I'm not most people, but most people I know have at least sell Virgin once. It seems like because I'm very, you know, in the content creator heavy in the cruiser crowd most folks have been on virgin twice um and then i even know some like virgin voyages crackheads who have been on like six and seven times so it's hard to gauge for me like what is the average person that has never been on virgin like what is this you know is is this perk something that'll make you be like oh i want to keep selling virgin voyages over and over again to get like a hundred dollars in a coffee credit i don't know y'all let me know Edward Strand says, um, I'm happy to hear they have decided to bring back loyalty. Yes, Uncle Eddie. Um, definitely happy because, you know, only thing we had heard for a period was that Virgin was rolling back. Like I went on um, when, the last of my cruise Virgin was on a um, it was on a TA, a travel agent fair. So basically a lot of their um, regional sales team, as well as um, I ended up sitting next to John Diorio, who is like some chief exec. I, I didn't even like put push that I was a content creator. I probably should have. Um, but I just wanted to just chat with him just as like a normal person at the bar in extra version. Um, just to kind of like, you know, fill him out, pick his brain, was kind of watching some things at a distance. He was doing some meetings with some of his um, like, uh, people who report to him and it was that was cool to see and like ear hustle a little bit they have a very strong culture at virgin for like work it was basically like the conversation was kind of like it, i really wasn't ear hustling because i could hear the conversation from where i was sitting <laughs> but it's very much like you know what are your goals how can i support you that kind of thing so uh, it was cool to kind of see the the sausage making of how virgin like keeps its people um but you know we kept hearing i think when was that selling when did i get on virgin last it was scarlet lady actually that series is out on my channel the one that i'm going to i'm at key west so december last time i sold the virgin voyages was december 2023 um and at that time you know it was the end of the year so they just kept were like you know hey you know they were pushing certain promos because they knew this was going away so it sparked a whole rumor of like virgin is rolling back virgin is rolling back and then now it's good to see like how they roll back and what they're replacing it with. Um, and we're saying, oh, so happy to hear they have decided to bring back loyalty matching. Absolutely. Like I feel like status matching is a, a way of being a contender in the travel agent, a, a, the travel industry, right? Like somebody who has one of the highest tiers of like, you know, if you're, if you're airline, you know, if somebody has like a platinum status on Delta Airlines or Hilton Diamond status, Heck yeah, you want them on, on your cruise ships because you know they travel a lot. You know they're willing to pay premium dollar. So for them to do a status match makes total sense. And I'm glad they didn't roll that back. Okay, fancy. <laughs> Melina says hello from Cozumel. Welcome in, Melina. Thanks for checking in, I guess, during your vacation. Um, that's exciting. Uh, um, in my cruise area, Melina says, where should I go eat? I want fresh guac. In Cozumel? Girl, you know what? I can't even give you a recommendation because I've been to Cozumel. Well, I, I can't count when I was in 96. As an adult, I think I've been to Cozumel three times. Two to three times I went to Mr. Sancho's. And then one time I went to, um, it was like a little private island, um, a passion, passion island. Uh, which is, I have a vlog about. So girl, you come back, Melina. The next Monday meetup will be Febu um, February. Lord, I want to go back in time. The next Monday meetup is going to be April 22nd. Um, if you are my channel member, channel members, we're going to have a members only meeting 
on April 15th. Hopefully I'm not pulling those dates out of my head, but I believe it's April 15th. Yes, channel members, we have our, I dropped a Zoom link. We're having our own private little meet and greet, mix and mingle. So I hope y'all got that invitation. If you're a non-channel member, don't fret. A week later, we have our Monday meetup, which I'm going to be announcing a travel um, or my travels. Um, so come back, Melina, during the Monday meetup on April 22nd, which is, oh my gosh, April 22nd is my channel anniversary too. Oh, I got to plan something nice for that one. Okay, that'll be my second channel anniversary. Anywho, I got off track. Come back and let us know on April 22nd. Where did you find to eat? Let us know your recommendations for Cozumel, girl. You know, this is, uh, we are not a travel one-on-one over here at COC. This is a this is a, the expert level travel. So come back and inform the people of where you decided to go eat. Kita! Kita Bita is here saying, hey, see, hey, Kita Bita, welcome in. Uh, Margaret Logan is saying hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Margaret Logan. And Miss Dev Desi says, unfortunately, no. Okay, because I was asking Desiree about did she status match when she got on version the last time? She says, unfortunately, no. I don't have enough cruises yet. I'm working on getting platinum on Carnival. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Um, and the good thing about Virgin, which I will also, you know, say shout out to Virgin. I haven't gotten deep into their document side because I saw. I didn't want to lose y'all too much because it was buffering. So when the article that I showed you from Virgin Voyages Insider had some links, hyperlinks to Virgin Voyages actual website. So I didn't want to lose y'all too much hopping over to the two websites and I could see that, you know, I was lagging and buffering. But um, I can say previously, Virgin's uh, status match program allowed you to match for things that weren't cruises, which I think is unique and smart on their behalf because again you don't want to just attract cruisers who let's say they got you know five cruises lined up on carnival and you know they might not be able to squeeze you in but like okay let's hit up the airline girlies let's hit up the hotel people who have status and you know pull them in um virgin voyages also if you all been paying attention has a current partnership and i believe april 9th hope i'm not messing that date up Virgin is offering perks too. If you have Delta Airlines, so that's Delta Medallion status, and you buy a cruise on Virgin, there's some kind of Delta Virgin perk where either you get miles or you get um, a, a sailor loot or both. I can't remember off the top, top of my head, but they are, I think it's wise for Virgin to be making those partnerships that aren't just cruise partnerships. So you can still status match. Um, and I will say if anybody holds the American Express Platinum card, because that card gives you some perks for other industries, then you can parallel it over. So like I have the American Express Platinum card so I can, which gives me gold status for Hilton. I can then use my Hilton status to match into Virgin Voyages program, if that helps you. Um I just decided to use my Disney status because I like the, the documentation better. <laughs> I didn't want to like have a back and forth email. So the documentation was just easier to match with Disney. So that's what I did. I'm sorry. I like bit my lip while I was talking. Miss D says, I've never sold on Virgin Voyages. How does a loyalty match work? Oh, thank you for that question, Miss D. D, hold on. Let me make sure. <laughs> look, I got to look over here at the, the, the computer to make sure I'm not going too long. I got to get back to work eventually. Um, so we're going to wrap up soon, but, um, so there is a form on virginvoyages.com. I should have the form available, <laughs> but you know what? I'll post it in the links, um, after I finish this, this live, but there's a form on virginvoyages.com. If you click on virginvoyages.com, look in the search and it's literally like a Google form. I will say for Virgin Voyages to be attached to like Virgin Atlantic and virgin space and virgin music <laughs> um they they use some pretty simple computer solutions <laughs> so literally it's like a google form and you just type in your information and you just have to show them they tell you what status matches are so it's like who y'all about to use my memory i think it's platinum on carnival it's silver on disney i can't remember what it's for royal caribbean um and then you also have some hotel line or hotel lines hotel partners that you can match into so when i did my form i think i could qualify from my hilton gold status and i think i could qualify i know i could qualify for my disney those are the two 
my Disney um, silver status, which is only one sailing on Disney. So if you sail Disney once, you qualify for Virgin Voyages. If they haven't changed that, again, that is on that side. I haven't gotten deep into it, but I'm hoping that they keep just even the same partnership levels. I'm not making that assumption. Anywho, welcome in 24 people. So basically you fill out that form and it just has to show that your name and status level um, and you do that before you sail. And once you do that, they'll automatically add the perks um, for you. So it's a pretty simple process. I When I did it, I matched back in, uh, I guess, like August, uh, August Ju July or August 2023. And it took me maybe three days, two, three days to hear back. So it's a pretty quick turnaround. And when I did it, I'm assuming it's going to be the same. So even if you are a couple of weeks out or something from your, you know, next version voyage, go ahead and fill out that form. It's basically a Google doc. You just need a PDF, like a copy of your, you know, um, your status. You can use your key card. Anything that has your name and the status level gets you um, that loyalty match. So thanks for that question, <laughs> Ms. Didi. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, yes, great question for sure. Uh, and Stig says that was great to see about Virgin. Yeah, so definitely hit up virginvoyages.com for more information about their um, status tiers. Hi, Jaretha. I got a call with Jaretha scheduled for um, Thursday to talk about possibly Virgin Voyages. Um, I know Jaretha was reaching out to get more questions about my group cruise. So I do have a group cruise since we're talking about Virgin Voyages and perks. On Virgin Voyages, it'll be on their Valiant Lady ship. So um, it's a ship that, you know, I think most people at this point, um, putting the link in there, most people at this point have um, sailed on Scarlet Lady. So this is on Valiant Lady, which is um, recently came over from Europe to now Miami. Um, and uh, we're sailing on Labor Day 2025. So if you want to join, you want to, if you want to try Virgin Voyages, if you want to try in a group setting, that's your opportunity. I will be personally offering, so on top of anything that you might match, on top of any perks that Virgin is giving you, I will be personally giving folks um, who are in the first 10 cabins $25 sailor loot um, for being a part of the first 10 cabins so that we can establish that circle, uh, which is Virgin's version of a group. <laughs> um, so that will qualify the group for more perks. So um, you can either hit me up or you can use that link there, Good Gov Getaway. Um, it's going to be September or Labor Day 2025. So April, I'm sorry, August 29th to September 3rd, 2025. So you have almost a year and a half to plan. You just need to put your deposit on. I know Virgin's running a deal right now. They're always offering specials, but the first 10 people to book with me um, will get a personal $25 seller loot. And of course, my channel members you will get an additional $25 sale loot for um, being a channel member. So if you get it the right time, you get $50 credit from C, <laughs> pockets. <laughs> so um, that's just, you know, how I roll. Um, just want to, you know, put it out there. And of course, the itinerary and plans will be coming soon. <laughs> um, actually, I am doing a, I guess, a site visit trip. Um, to test out some of the things. So, you know, I've been on this itinerary before, which is a Dominican Days itinerary. Um, and I'm going to go and set some things up to make it a good time for y'all. All right, who we got? Desi says, let me check my Hilton honors. We'll work to status match on Virgin. Cool. Yeah, check your Hilton honors. It might be your ability to start. You can maybe match that way for sure. And Bo is saying, hey, see, hi, Bo. Well, cool. It's been 32 minutes. Go to versionvoyages.com, y'all. It's free perks on the table. I know for me, whenever I did the deep blue extras is what I have. And when I say, you know, the time I was able to use the expedited entry, if you can't do nothing else, I would say that $100 sailor loot makes it worth it for deep blue extras and the expedited entry. <laughs> um, if you've been to Virgin Voyages port, um, the first time I had deep blue extras, you feel like a rock star. You're just moving your way through. The second time I sailed, I did not have the perk because I was on a travel agent fair. So I, they didn't add the perk to it. And when I say being stuck at that pier and then they had like their system glitched out. And so I was standing in line for like two hours. So, um, you know, travel agent things, stuff aside, if you can get that deep blue extra, that perk there to avoid the lines, do it. Um, but it looks like most of you will be coming in at the blue level which is the mid range but it still has some good perks with coffee um and laundry um so uh thank you yes hit that like button before you're out and put in the comments put in the comments let me know 
do those components of the loyalty program appeal to you? Yes or no? So do you find it appealing or you're like, hey, virgin girl, it's, you're not selling me on anything. Let me know. All right. It's C. Thanks for coming to have lunch with me, even though I just kind of sipped my tea. Um, it was kind of a little nervous because I did a whole different format, was glitching a little bit, but I really wanted to share those deep blue extras. Some of you probably heard it first from my channel. So uh, thank you all for popping in. Uncle Eddie says, yes, he finds it valuable. Cool beans. And if you all need any assistance with, if you want more information about like, hey, Carlene, what was, what's the loyalty status like? Um, you need help with finding that form. I'm going to try to drop the link in the chat um, or in the description. Um, or you can reach out to me at cwc at gmail.com. You can hit me up by commenting on this. I, I'm really good with responding to comments. But anywho, I'm going to stop running my mouth. It's CWC. Thanks for coming to chat with me for lunch. Hope you enjoyed this information about Virgin Voyages. Shout out to all my couch cruisers. Uh, two out updates on February 15th. We have a members only kick back and chat. Um, so that's for the members. You can join the membership now to get that invite. Um, and if you're not a channel member, it's okay. February, um, April 22nd, which will be my channel's second year anniversary, you can come back and chat. And we'll be talking about, um, I'll be rolling out what my next trip is, what my next series is. Um, cool. I'll go, Eddie says, I will check my text. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. See, we'll see. Thanks for coming to chat with me. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.